Hello everyone, welcome to Combination Kitchen. Hey everybody. We are here together today cooking. No cameraman or camera woman, so this is good. So today we're making scrollen beans. So what is scrollen beans? Growing up in an Italian household, a lot of times um, mom would make something that I wasn't particularly into. So I didn't like vegetables growing up as a kid. I never ate greens. I didn't like beans. I like the sausage, yeah, that's great, but um, these things were good for you. It was hearty. We didn't have a lot of money. Mom was trying to stretch the dollar, and she made things that I didn't like. Now, as I've gotten older, and times have changed, my tastes have changed, and I can appreciate things that I didn't like back then. And in my memory, I have the memory of how Mom made it because I was always around. Mom was a stay-at-home mom. She was handicapped, and she was always at home, but she was a great, great cook. Yep. Yeah. My mother, on the other hand, worked full time. She was not a good cook, but we always ate green vegetables out of the can. Us two cans. She was Irish, and she did whatever was the quickest thing to do. So we had spinach, we had asparagus, we had green beans. Everything was out of the can. Us two. Now that we live a healthy lifestyle, we try to eat everything as organic as possible. Sometimes it's expensive to eat yep. organic, but we try to eat fresh vegetables as much as we can. Okay, so we started off, I've got, I got some sausage, um, a, we have Big Y here on Stop and Shop, so we were in Big Y, they had sausage, Italian sausage links on sale. We usually get Stop and Shop and they're always awesome. I just tasted one, it's from Big Y, it's okay, it's not as good as Stop and Shop. So I suggest, get a brand name, if you have a, um, a meat market near you that has a brand name or they make their own, get a good Italian sausage because it makes a huge difference. So what I did was I... I cooked up the sausage, um, the links first, I browned them up, I chopped them up, I threw some garlic in here, and I let that saute on very low. Uh, I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of white wine because you want a little white wine in that soup anyways. So we're going to deglaze with about half a cup of white wine. We'll let this simmer for a little while. We'll let that simmer for a little while, and we'll show you the other ingredients that we used. So Jen prepared our shkadal, which is escrow. Italians call it scroll. Scroll. You gotta get that scroll. <laughs> so we chop that up and we're gonna put it in the crock pot. The crock pot's the way to do this. You just put it in, put it on high, let it boil down. That all that scroll that was coming out of the top of that will sink down and with everything else in it, it's gonna be amazing. It really is. Uh, being half Italian and half Polish, I gotta tell you, Goya products are awesome. So we use the Goya white beans. You can use whatever kind of beans time. you want. But I gotta tell you, Goya is a fantastic product, and they make they make really really good stuff. So we went with the Goya beans because I, both me and Jen really like the Goya beans. You can use your Italian beans; it's okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to use, I'm just telling you, we really like the quality product. Uh, a nice good uh, Italian olive oil it doesn't have to be um, a light or an extra virgin. We happen to have extra virgin here. That's what we like, so that's what we get. Get a good olive oil because it makes a huge difference also. Um, Collagen broth, you can get any kind of broth you want. It's a little chicken broth. So what I do is I put about uh, two cups of chicken broth in the bottom. I will fill the rest of that with water once all the rest of the ingredients are in. Jennifer, your tip for the day? My tip is when I washed this roll, it was really dirty and there was a lot of water on it afterwards. Invest $10 in a salad spinner because I swear to God, this is the best thing you're ever going to buy. Do not put desserts in this part of it because if you bring it over somebody's house, you might not get it back. So you know, hang on to it and keep it for all your greens, anything that you wash, it is great. I love it. The other thing I have, so I used uh, the Goya cooking wine. You can use any, I have an Italian cooking wine also in the refrigerator. This one, I'm just trying to get rid of, we, we've had it for a while. And once all, everything's in the pot, I'll put some 4C or any kind of Italian ground, Parmesan, Pecco Romano, whatever you want. We gotta put some cheese in that too, so mm, it'll be great. Right now I'm gonna bring over the pot with the skull in it. We're gonna mat it down with the sausage. And we got broth in there already. Want to get all this, it's got garlic in it and the olive oil and a little bit of white wine, so that'll make, it's gonna just be so good. It, you know, all these tastes will blend after about Two hours, this soup is going to be ready, and you guys are going to absolutely love it. So I'm going to put a little water in here and weigh it down a little bit more. 
This is a great recipe for a cold day. Yeah, it's when cold here now. you leave for work and you get home, it's really nice to have with some Italian bread. And what's great about this, too, is um, as this cooks down, if you don't want it as a soup and if you'd rather have it as a stew, let the water cook down and make it nice and thick. And you can use it almost as a stew instead of a soup. It's, a, it's whatever you guys either grew up with or whatever you prefer. Um, we always had it as a soup. But as I grew up and I started making it myself, I actually like it as a stew. I like it when that, um, that water boils out of it and it brings everything together. It's just a little bit thicker. It's really, really good. So we're just about where we need to be uh, now, water wise. I like my soup a little saltier. Um, so the sausage, John said, is salty. So it's going to add to the, the broth. So we don't have to add anything extra to that. You want to try to get the beans towards the middle or the bottom because the beans really need to get that hot water to get soft. So I'm just trying to push everything down, bring some of that vegetable up to the top. It'll all mix anyways. Like I said, as it starts to boil down, it'll, it'll condense and then uh, you can stir it up again. And I won't put the cheese in yet. The grated cheese, I'll add... Once it starts to cook down, maybe an hour, an hour and a half, um, I'll add the cheese to it. And then I'll taste it, and if it's not up to um, Jennifer standard salt-wise, I'll add a little more salt and pepper. I didn't add any pepper to it, but we will add pepper to it later on. So we're going to let this cook for a few hours, and then we'll come back and we'll give it a taste. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Bye, everybody.